Kaczynski is not a football story. It's not a Washington State University story. Instead, it's a story that's told all too often. The second leading cause of death among 15 to 24 year olds is suicide. No one would expect Tyler Holinsky to be one that would take his own life. He seemingly had it all. An athlete, on scholarship, a Pac-12 quarterback, potentially with an NFL career ahead of him. He led Washington State to an improbable win. Come from behind, 21 points down against Boise State last fall. But then, last January, he took his own life. Tonight, his mom, Kim, and his brother, Kelly, who are touring through the state of Washington to meet fellow Cougar fans and to meet others who have been so supportive during this difficult time, talk to us specifically about who Tyler Holinsky is. The best son, the sweetest son, um, the best friend, the best brother. I, um, I think sweet is always that adjective that you'll use to describe Tyler, right? He, kind and good. Um, and everything you hear about him is very true. He always had a kind word for someone, didn't want anybody in the room to be unhappy. And that included when we were, or you guys were younger and growing up. He just wanted to make sure that everybody was fine and everybody was good. He was fierce and loyal um, and he loved football. He always just had a way of, of making people happy, whether it was on the field or at home or just being around others. He had a way of brightening up the room. None of those things describe what happened. There were no signs. He was such an optimist and always looking for good and always thought that it was around every corner. So when January 16th rolls around, it's a shock. And I honestly remember the coach telling me about it. And I just, this just came to me the other day. Um, I thought he was lying. I thought there's no, there's no, he's in a car accident. He's got lost. Maybe he had a fight with a girlfriend. Um, all those things go through your head, but not what actually happened. So how's, how's mom and brothers and dad doing? I don't think we're okay. I don't. Um, we just miss him, really, you know. It's hard for us to think about not having Tyler with us the rest of our lives. It's really hard because um, he was just so sweet. And I, I pick up my phone and I, I look at it and my screensaver for Tyler is actually flowers that he brought me one of my last trips up here to see him. He would bring me flowers a lot um, to the hotel. And um, I just look at that and that's the kind of sweet guy that he was, but I, we're not okay. Mm -mm. Now the Holinsky family is grieving. As you can tell, they probably always will. But instead of just going away, they have come forward, not just to talk to us, but also to establish something very important, a foundation in Tyler's name. It's called Holinsky's Hope. Next week, we'll talk about what Holinsky's Hope is, how they move forward, and how they will try to help other families not have to go through the same grieving process they are. I'm Ian Furness, Cue It Up Sports.